YouTube and welcome back. Probably here to watch the tow truck. So let's get into it. How's it going CC team? So today uh, we're going to a car show or car cruise down in downtown Croswell. And today I'm bringing the tow truck and Steve's over there doing chores. He's gonna bring his charger. But uh, before we take the truck, there's a few things I gotta do. I gotta turn out some of the adjustment screws on there because when the truck gets warmed up, um, it decides it wants to serve itself a fuel. So I've already narrowed it down in his mixture and everything. And then in here, I've got a steering wheel knob because going, I've already learned going through a parking lot, trying to shift and turn this big wheel with almost no power steering it's not easy so i'm gonna need something with i'm gonna need to get some more leverage so install that stuff and then hopefully be ready to go down to the car meet or car cruise whatever you want to call it now you're supposed to do uh this mix the mixture screws while the truck is running and it's warmed up but i already know what the issue is and about how much i should turn it out so i was told to turn each of these out about a half a turn. So here's one. Oh, wait, no, that's that's in. Okay. Go back to this one. Okay, there's another one. Then over to this side. Now these ones are really hard to get to. All right, so I can't get a screwdriver in there, so I'm gonna try just grabbing onto it with pliers. I can't get that one, so I'm gonna have to revert all of them. I'm gonna have to revert the other two back. So, ain't gonna be tuning these, but if any of you have any suggestions on how to get to those two, uh, let me hear it, because I have no ideas. Get this beast on. Now for the spinner hub. I'm fully capable of opening packaging. Nothing like a good red, white, and blue. Take the screws out completely. All right, now I just need to figure out a good spot for this. Considering my right hand's gonna be for shifting, I think it should be on the left side. And the wheels are straight ahead too. Just compensating for where the steering wheel is is gonna be the hard part. Now you gotta get the clips on here. Okay, about there is probably good. All right, so the spinner knob is installed, and I'm all ready to go. Now to go ask Steve. So it's 4.55, ready to head up to the car show? All right. All right, get the truck warmed up.
these trucks were never made for comfort. We are here. What's up CC team? So today we're at a car cruise in our local town and brought out the tow truck. So not only is the tow truck here, but there's some really nice cars here. Kind of excluding Steve's Charger. Sorry Steve. But right here we got a beautiful 80s Malibu two door. I really want one of these and it's also playing copyrighted music. So I'll just talk over it and hopefully this video doesn't get striked. Then we got 65 Chevy C10. And even though the hood isn't open, I know this has a six cylinder because I've seen it before. Really beautiful example. Catch this 36 Ford over here. Got a Willys Jeep, probably CJ5. And this one always loves to show up at the local meets. 40s Pontiac four door. Restored just enough where it looks really good, but then also left rough enough to not have to worry about driving it in the rain or anything. And then we've got another charger just like Steve's. Steve's buddies actually. Oh yeah, first gen Viper. Here we got an R33 GTST with uh, just a little bit of modification. In silver. With the purple lug nuts, not bad. Also right hand drive, straight from Japan. Then next to it, we got a track ready Subaru. So 
good. Oh, 79 says on the plate. Some people go out to cruise a little bit. It is a cruise day after all. How many of you recognize this truck from a couple of videos back? They got Steve on the jump, but eventually he passed him. And here we have a magnificent 53 Bel Air. Look how simple that interior is and how clean the chrome is. And then I thought I had the biggest truck here. I'll show you guys the interior, but I can't see it. This is crazy. Apparently this one's for sale, so anyone in the area, it's available. Here we have a 79 Firebird, bought new, same owner, owned by the local Scooby-Doo. That Volkswagen, I just put a new headline. Browns just put a new headline on it for me. You want to tell YouTube a little bit about your car? Bought a brand new in 1979 for $8,200. The paint work was six hundred dollars. Winter of seventy-nine. That's really cool. The current value of it is forty-five thousand. That's what it was appraised at by Rod Dotton Appraisals out of Madison Heights. And then uh, what was what's that little feature that you almost never see on these cars? With the alarm. Yeah. That's an old. That's one of the first alarm systems. It was a shaker alarm. It had it on your doors and your trunk. There was no kill switch. It was just just an alarm, dude. But. In order for my order, because I didn't, I, I had to get two grand, and my dad didn't want me to borrow the money. <laughs> so he said, "I'll loan you two grand, but you're getting an alarm on it." And and honestly, that probably makes it more valuable now, right? Uh, I don't know. There's a hole in the fender. I mean, but that's in 1979, dude. That's what I mean, dude. There's no safety switches. There's no beeps. There's no alarm bells. There's no the old. That's the way things were to do. And Franz would put the headliner and he goes, it was so simple because everything's Phillips head screws. Really? Everything, he goes, there's no clips, there's no pulling out 28 different screwdrivers trying to get this clip out. He goes, doo, 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 pop, pop. Wow. But it's also, you know, it's 45 years ago, dude. Things were... Things were simpler. It's only got 185 or so, dude. So you're, so you got these Eagles from the factory? No, no, those Eagles were done by the... It had the little sticker there, mm -hmm. and I had a sticker on the hood. And we were playing frisbee and, uh, out at Stony Creek, dude. My buddy threw the frisbee in it. And I, put oh. a big, I took a chunk out of the sticker, and I'm like, oh no. So in the, there was a place in uh, there was a place in Clinton Township. The guy did paintings. So I went there. I said, dude, would you pay me three eagles? Goes, I'll give you three eagles and a pinstripe, and he goes, six hundred bucks. Wow. That's what the paintwork was six hundred dollars, but that's also seventy nine. Yeah. Yeah, you know, gas no. was, you know, 65 cents a gallon, and you get a pop and a chocolate bar, you know, it was just, you know, pops for 75 cents, and I look at two, just everything's just gone up, it's, you know, I'm... Well, certainly a cool car.